<laughs> Wait, hold on. Go to boom, go to audio, get it in the middle. Where are we at? Wait, did that say it? Is it it? Okay, cool. Oh shit, you scared the shit out of me. Uh. So, I don't know, hold on. Hey, hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Wait a Good second. <laughs> yeah? I got caught and questioned. <sighs> Good. I didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Sorry if I'm not, like, perky right now. I'm dealing with some nausea from my medication. It sucks. Where'd you go? Oh, you went upstairs. Oh, shit. Hold on. Ah. I had to fix my thingy. We need it to be full screen. Exit. What day? There we go. Yay! I'm so happy that that that, that works. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. If Vader doesn't find Lucas's murderer, Jack Matt will personally hang him by his balls on a branch. Well, Vader sure gained a lot from the commander's death. What are you trying to say? I don't know. <sighs> nah, nothing. I think Only it's that got it was because of Lucas's death that Vader was promoted to commander. But you suspect Vader is involved in Lucas's murder? I suspect that if you eavesdrop, you'll get yourself hurt. Or worse. Damn. Then why did you wait until we were right here to start talking? Hi, Jay. Don't forget you can search trash cans. I can search it. Yeah, go down there and there's a trash can right there. You can search it. Yeah, but I thought since we were in the safe zone, we couldn't do any searching. That's different, because we're in a different game. I don't know. Uh, so I like to check things. Here. No, Sucks. but... No. I'm looking for stuff. Because there's all this stuff over here. You can't interact with any of it. I checked. Oh. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Must help us. Otherwise but there's people up here. Help us in the investigation. Coming. So do we. And reap the world with Vader's. Don't fly off board yet. Where did you go? Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. How did you get all the way up there? I climbed. It's so oh. Ow. Close carnage hall so how is everyone doing today? I feel like I'm not talking very often much, and I feel bad. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you could climb up here. That's cool. I hope the kids are all right. Haven't seen them for weeks. Did everyone have a good Saturday? T, how was your Saturday? What did you do today? Uh, I slept most of the day. Uh, are you feeling sick? No. Or were you just tired? I'm just tired. And then, I feel ya. And then 
I wanted to sleep. I, um, watched stream. Half of these people would be biter. Huh. Where are you going? I have no idea where we're going. I played, I, I played DVD the other day. I played Survivor. I, I did pretty good. I was excited. Oh, my. Oh, there he is. There's Hakon. I hack on. Stop spinning your wheels and talk to me. Well, why are you being a jerk? There it goes. So, what did they want from you? If you've been there like you said you'd be, I'm. <sighs> oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Aitor doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Uh. Aitor said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Cabatos. Hubert. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he half sets up shop Hubie. in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. No. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down Hubie. some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Hubie. That's funny. Jay, no, I did not just hit my mic. Um, I don't have any filter on it. Any um, sound sensor, filter, whatever, because... Nightly could not hear me with one on. Hey, I'm sorry. Don't yell at me. I'm just sorry. I'm working on it. Um. Where it's are the these people? Way. Dark Hollows Forsaken stores. Okay. So I got pissed, pissed off today. I got really pissed off today. For something I shouldn't have got I shouldn't have gotten pissed off about, but I did. did so Well no, it's just so I got a message from a friend of mine who is in this group. It's for VR. Mm -hmm. And I just simply asked the people in the group how I could stop M from sharing shit in groups, you know, without like just because, like, you know how she likes to get in the VR and stuff like that and play. Mm -hmm. Well, they're like, why the hell would you let a five-year-old in a VR? And I'm just like... There's many five-year-olds that play VR. It's and they're like, it's not made... It's not made for, for people... You know, for... Hold on, hold on, hold on. My computer just glitched out for a second there. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Wait, no, not yet. Okay. Am I... There we go. Okay, okay. Sorry, I had to tab over to something because there was, like, this weird thing on my computer. I'm like, what the hell is this? But anyway, so I... Um... So, like, after, like five people, like, well, three to five people commented on it. I was just like, I just deleted the post. Because that wasn't, you know, I wasn't dealing with that. But I sat here and I was just thinking, I was like, okay, one, I mean, I, I get it. I, I don't have to justify myself to those people. But it just felt, like, really shitty. Because, like, I even put in the post that she is autistic. So, she does things to her own beat of her own drum you know I'm not um, like I can't 
I mean, yes, I'm the mom. I could say, no, you can't have this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He gave us really cool weapons. But anyways, I, I, I like... I know I don't have to justify that, but the fact is, is like I put in there that she's autistic and such, and they still like were all kinds of like rude and inconsiderate and stuff like that. And I'm just like, Ugh. and then I I googled it because you know I I understand that it could be potentially bad for yeah I mean anything you know anything kids do can be bad for them. So I googled it though, but I wanted to look at something because I... What M does is she goes into... Um... You have a you have a quest, right? But you have a quest one. Right? Yeah. But you haven't been in it in a while. Yeah. I don't think. But anyway, so they have this thing called... It's like Horizon Worlds, I think mm. is what it's called. Oh, don't forget the birdhouse. I always forget the birdhouse. I wasn't even looking up. But, um, there's this thing called Horizon Worlds. It's basically, you kn okay, you know what Roblox is, right? You yes. obviously know what Roblox is. It's like Roblox, but VR. Because it gives you all these worlds you can go into and stuff. But, you know, your character's the same, but you just get to be in going into all these different worlds. Mm. So. She likes to go in there and she, I make sure before she goes in that the mic is muted, the people's sounds are muted so they can't like talk to her or be weird mm -hmm. or anything like that. And where did you go? Cause I'm like jumping around getting distracted. Oh, getting loot. Slaughter, kill as many infected as possible. But anyway, so I, um, so like I said, I always get on there, I mute everything and stuff so that she can't, you know, no one can talk to her and she can't talk to anyone else. But it's, there's things that she is, like she does that is, I think, beneficial to her. So, for example, she was in this one because I finally figured out how I can cast it on my phone so I can see what she's doing. Mm. And make it so that she can't, you know, do anything she's not supposed to, like share onto random groups. Yeah. And, um, but, I, so I went in, I, I was watching her and she was in this, like, hospital thing. Like a, like a toy, not toy, I, I don't know like what you would call it, but like a Basically, like, a, uh, hospital simulator. Mm -hmm. And stuff. So, and she was, you know, playing with the, um, uh, she was looking at the things, and she was, like, um, you know, pretending to be a doctor and stuff like that, and, and everything. And I was like, well, this is, don't forget, did you forget, did you get the birdhouse? Um... Because the birdhouse makes, um, you can get feathers to make arrows. Mm. I believe that's what they're for. But anyway, so she was doing that, and I'm like, well, this is kind of good for her. Because, you know, she's having surgery on Thursday. And so, um, it's like, here, she's gonna have some, a little bit of, like, you know, pre, pre, yeah, 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 we were. She's gonna have some pre, um, you know... Hi. But she's gonna have some, like, experience, like, pre-surgery type deal where she can, you know, she's got, like, she's seeing kind of like, it's like a, so basically like one giant social story, which is what, you know, people use for kiddos with disabilities who can't, oh shit, it's a bitter but um basically like i said it's one big social story that you know she works with so when i was googling it oh you're you're not what damn they turned quick
Okay. Um, but anyway, so I when I Googled it, the first thing I found was an article like not just like a an art like just a regular like internet article it was a peer reviewed mm -hmm. um article and stuff that they, it was a research research article mm -hmm. and um i don't know who's bad over here but i feel like i'm i don't know where did you where did you go over here over closer to the um Yellow diamond? Yeah. Okay. So, but there was a peer-reviewed article about how VR a VR applications and VR use for kids with uh, disabilities such as autism, um, they can use that to help with their social-emotional skills without being forced to be in a... In a um, situation that could stress them out mm -hmm. like it's something that they could just um it's a it's a, like it's like basically kind of like a practice thing you know it's something that they can do yeah. and stuff and not be stressed out because they can easily just take where am i at oh my gosh why can't i get up i'm stuck on this ledge okay fine <sighs> okay. Well, I just didn't gonna die. No! Don't hit me! Oh, son of a biscuit and gravy. I have no idea where I'm at, and I'm just like completely confused. Oh, I see you now. Well, I see your- I see the letter B. Yeah, I'm up here. I need to heal! Fudge crackers. No! No! Shit, I'm gonna die. T, I'm gonna die. Get up. You're not even I using can't. the right stuff. I know! Believe me, I know! I... Assistance? Yeah, I just can't remember how to change things. Oh, there we go. One or two. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, okay. So, but... Yeah, so like I said, I was just feeling, like, I was just feeling frustrated with that today. Because, like, I mean, what's, 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 what else is new? You want to get up on get a up building? Up. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <coughs> it's like, I get it that a lot of people don't understand... A lot of people don't understand autism. They don't understand special needs. They don't understand. And I should have said something. I really feel like I should have said something, but I didn't because I just didn't want to deal with it. Because I was like, today I've been tired. I've been like, blah. But like, 
so many people don't understand what it's like for people with autism. With like, like, it's something that she enjoys. So why would I stop her from doing something she enjoys when it's like there's not much that does? I mean, like, there's not much that she does enjoy. So. It's just frustrating. I don't know. I, it's just like I feel bad because I feel like I should have said something. Did you just go into a dark room? Maybe. There's only two zombies. Did you sneak? Did you sneak or did you not sneak? No. You did not sneak, okay. Not the first time. Okay. So I I don't know. It's just it's just hard sometimes being Oh, we can't search. Like a You should be able to. I don't Go to sleep. Oh, do you need, do you need to heal? I do you need, need to heal? heal? Okay. I'm fine. It's just giving me a sign that says. Whoa. <laughs> I need to get rid of the second first. <laughs> we have two firsts now. Everyone's first. <laughs> oh, don't forget, don't stay in there long because your immunities go down. Sorry. That um, sucks. Where are we going? We're going towards the diamond. We're going this way. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I don't. Oops, that hurt. I should have not done that. Maybe just a smidge. I do. And like, hey, look, we got some space to space to stuff and things and things. Get, let me down. <laughs> let me down. There we go. Like, I don't know. At what point do you like? bite your tongue and not say anything or do you just like try to stick up for your kids like that's that's my thinking right now it's like i feel like i should have stuck up for her for her but then again she's never gonna see that she's never gonna you know all that stuff and i'm just like but then it's just again like it's a should i have done it anyways type of thing well and you did lead with that she does have autism tough. and everything. Yep, I did. Maybe they just didn't understand the whole concept of the thing. Yeah. That's Maybe. Where are you, T? Oh, okay, I I made it. I did miss. Like, I'm literally right here. 
What is it? There's this right stuff here? right here, and then there's that stuff over there. Well, I'll, find, I'll go over here first. Yes, yeah, so it's in case you fall. Cause you know how the other play the other one had um the other dying light had safe zones. Mm -hmm. These have like factions where you have to turn on the windmill and the windmill is like <laughs> See that's why there's garbage there. Well, Now turn around, look this way, look towards this way, and jump. There you go. He doesn't Hubert? like people... Uh, no, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. Him, but... So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait. I guess. Well, you can race me to the top of this window. <laughs> hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? <laughs> hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. And... I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. <laughs> Asshole. Now we have to run. Shouldn't you be chasing someone? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hakon, he's running away. Nah, sounds like Hubie. Damn it. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. Well, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Oh shit. Where'd he go? Hack on. He's not here. Oh, I'm Pusip. I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. Hubert! I just want to talk! Okay. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below on anything in general, and this is TT95, signing off. Bye, guys. See you over here. <laughs>